it's very, very interesting to me. I consider myself an environmentalist, but I consider myself a pragmatic environmentalist in the sense of like, I'm not trying to like scream and cry and protest all the time. I go to protest, but then I think to myself, what are we gonna do about it? Like, what's the solution? You know, like, I don't like the air quality in my city, so I'm on the phone with people from uh, other countries. I'm, I'm talking to Europeans, trying to get giant air purifiers uh, brought to my city. I'm really doing this type of stuff. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't even talk about 50% of the stuff I do on this, this newscast, but this is the type of stuff I do. I'm a pragmatic environmentalist. I'm not crying. I'm not saying, oh my God, the earth's gonna melt. I'm looking for solutions. What are we gonna do about it? So one thing that I've noticed about my environmentalist brothers and sisters, there's a lot of complainers, there's a lot of criers, there's not a lot of uh, Nikola Teslas and inventors and, and solution makers. And there's also not a lot of logic I've started to notice because I've always been into the environment my personal belief before I get into the volcano story is every cause has an effect. So you have billions of people. We are spiritually tarnished. We are physically tarnished. We are, you know, putting all this bad energy out in the world, not only physically and environmentally, but also I feel like spiritually and emotionally. I feel like our actions have consequences. Like why are we, you know, doing all the stuff that we don't have to do? We don't need plastic. We don't need to be destroying the oceans. We don't need to use all this, you know, uh, stuff that's polluting the environment. So I'm not someone that says, oh, we have no effect. I, I know we have an effect because every cause has an effect. But the question is how much has climate change and how much has environmentalism been politicized? Because just like the Women's March, oh, of course I love women. Of course I believe in women's rights. But do I believe in the Women's March? No, not at all. Oh, of course I believe in safety and not people dying. But do I believe in the gun control march? No, absolutely not. Yeah, of course I love, I want to keep families together. Of course I love my Mexican and Latino brothers and sisters. Legal, illegal, I don't care. I love you all. But do I agree with that march? No, I don't at all. So this is something that no environmentalists really want to talk about because the, the narrative now is man is changing the climate. Man is destroying the earth. There's nothing we can do. The sea levels are melting and it's all man-made. And I want to show you how fake the news has become and how fake a lot of mainstream environmentalism has become with this news story. Because within the last week, scientists have found an active volcano beneath a rapidly vanishing glacier in Antarctica. So this changes the whole discussion about melting ice. Do humans have some effect? Does rising sea levels and rising temperatures have some effect? I'm sure that they do. But... Do you think a volcano, like, hmm, if you have ice and then there's a stove under it that's literally shooting out hot magma at levels that you can't even imagine, putting it more carbon and methane into the air, uh, I, correct me if I'm wrong about those things, but, you know, then entire cities can do. I mean, volcanoes are enormous. There's super volcanoes on this planet that could literally cover the entire earth in, in molten hot magma. So as much control as you think that I have or you have or march in the street and cry, you have to understand mother nature is very, very powerful. 95% of the ocean is unexplored. You know, around 72% of the whole earth is ocean. So if you do the math, that means over 50, 60% of the entire earth has not been explored yet. So if Oh my God, if you read the Independent, scientists are baffled at this discovery. Art, well, you're only baffled. It's like the news being baffled. Oh my God, Donald Trump won. You're baffled because you're clueless and you're so, you're so far in your echo chamber. Oh my God, I can't believe reality's real. It's like, well, that's what happens when you deny pure reality and earth and nature and science for this long. You talk about science. They found over 90 volcanoes in Antarctica last year. Are all of them active? No. But this week they found an active volcano beneath a rapidly vanishing glacier in Antarctica. And I wrote a quote from the article because I just want to let you know how pompous, how arrogant, and how ignorant mainstream leftist journalism has become. And this is coming from somebody who is, I consider myself an environmentalism. I don't want to pollute the earth. I want to love the earth. Uh, I'm a hippie in that sense. But here's what they said. They, they claim that man-made, uh, you know, temperature rising is still the number one cause of melting icing. But they said, volcanoes, this is a direct quote, volcanoes buried deep beneath the ice are a wild card that are likely also playing a role. Okay, so this, 
just shows the arrogance and the ignorance of the mainstream media. This is from the Independent, uh, by the way, a British publication, uh, mainstream media though. Volcanoes buried deep beneath the ice are a wild card. Who are, who are they a wild card to? They're not a wild card to me. If you would have asked me, Anomaly, do you think there's volcanoes beneath? Do you think a volcano? Of course, of course there's volcanoes everywhere. Of course, there's so much that you don't know about Antarctica. Of course, there's things under that ice that you couldn't possibly even fathom. So to me, is it a wild card? No, it's only a wild card to you because you've spent the last 15 years crafting this narrative about climate change in the earth and how, how everything works and you're completely fundamentally a thousand percent wrong. Is everything you're saying wrong? No, but are you missing like the biggest chunk of like what this earth is? Yeah, of course, so it's not a wild card and that they, they're not even saying it's definitely playing a role. Okay, ask a two-year-old, go to any two-year-old and you say, hey, do you think a volcano exploding active, you know, magma that's literally active and just heating up at ridiculous temperatures that you couldn't even go near or touch, do you think that's melting the ice? Any two-year-old would tell you, yeah, of course that's melt. I mean, it's, it's obviously melting the ice. It's not even a question. But they said that it's, it's likely also playing a role. It's likely. It's not definitely. A volcano that's active is definitely melting the ice. I don't think it's even a question. Uh, but they say it's likely playing a role. But don't, no, 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 no. Don't, that, this is like the whole vibe of every article. They don't, don't think that climate change is not real. Uh, and, and I do want to say, first of all, like I said, climate change is real. The, the climate is changing. It's not called global warming anymore because it's not warming everywhere. In some places, it's going to freeze. Yes, the climate is shifting. The ocean shifts. Um, but my question is, what's really going on in this planet? So I do want to say, uh, also in 2017, scientists discovered 91 volcanoes below the Antarctic sheet. And you have to understand, I'm not saying that man is not causing a problem. I'm not saying, but what I am saying is no leftist or liberal or progressive environmentalist wants to admit we do not control the earth. Maybe someone does, maybe someone has a lever, maybe it's aliens, maybe it's God, whatever you want to say, you know, let me know your thoughts. But there's volcanoes everywhere. There's, there's absolutely so much stuff going on under, we don't even know 90%, 95% of the ocean. So we don't even know how the ocean's working because we haven't explored 95% of it. Now that we're discovering volcanoes, it reminds me of when we were young, they told me there's no other planets like Earth. Earth is the only planet that can facilitate life. So I was like, nah, there's gotta be aliens and everyone said I was crazy. Now they say, oh, there's billions of universes and billions of planets like Earth. Of course there are. So overall, I'm, I'm not saying that the science uh, you know, of, of climate change or, or global warming is real, but what I am saying is they're totally lying about how sure they are. They're not sure. There's literally active volcanoes that are melting the glaciers that a week ago they had no idea about. And here's the thing about carbon in the air. They're building uh, machines that are cost efficient now that can suck the carbon out of the air. Trees, I don't know if you've ever heard of trees, but you plant a tree and they suck in the carbon and they spit out oxygen. Uh, India planted 50, 60, 30, 40 million trees. I don't know how many in 24 hours they broke the Guinness Book of World Records. We could plant billions of trees. There, there's mainstream publications now being like, oh wow, uh, sucking CO2 out of the air is actually pretty easy. It's not, they have literal machines to do it like they even need machines. We have trees to do that. But overall, what I'm saying is there's solutions to everything. While everybody's crying and screaming about what's going on, there's so many solutions to the problems we face environmentally. There's inventions and literally 15 year old kids you can find on YouTube that are building machines and, and all this sort of technology that's cleaning up the ocean. As we cry and complain, there's 15 year olds cleaning up the ocean. There's scientists creating machines. There's people planting trees. Uh, and then there's also, I just wanna say, active volcanoes under glaciers that are melting the glaciers. That was the big propaganda of the 2000s. Look at all the melting glaciers. I, I wonder what Al Gore thinks about active volcanoes, you know, under, underneath a, a glacier. So overall, I'm not saying that we should keep polluting. I'm not saying that we shouldn't focus on it. I'm not saying that it's not real, that we're having an effect on the environment. But this is just further proof, an active volcano under the Antarctic sheet melting, Further proof that we're not completely in control. There's things that are out of our control. There's other things that are that are in, you know changing from the melting ice glaciers to the sea level to uh, you know the temperature. There's all these things that we can't control and that we don't fully understand yet. We're going to learn, 
And it's just further proof that kind of with a lot of things left leaning as I've been learning over the last years, they're trying to say it's a closed discussion. You can't talk about it. It's closed. The science is closed. It's not even remotely true. We're going to be learning new things over the next 2, 5, 10, 15, 20 years that are going to completely change mainstream science as we know it, similar to this active volcano under the Antarctic ice. Let me know your thoughts. On to the next